Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about a technique that I've been experimenting with for about a year now. Uh, it's relatively new to our country, but it's something that they've been doing over in Japan for, a, for quite some time. And specifically, what it's called is the Zika Rig. This is a pre-made one by Gamakatsu. I believe there's a few other companies that have a pre-made rig as well. Uh, you know, it's really pretty straightforward. It's a weight to a split ring that's, you know, mounted onto an EWG hook. So when you tie the line, you tie it to the split ring and you've got, you know, a bait that's hanging off the side and a weight that's coming down on the bottom. And what's cool about this technique is it's a cross between a lot of other techniques. You know, I feel like it's kind of like a drop shot because the weight is holding the bait up off the bottom. It's kind of like a Texas rig because you've got a weight with a big, you know, weedless EWG style hook that you can put really whatever plastic bait that you want onto it. And it's almost like a swing head in that the weight and the hook are separate. So when you're bringing this across the bottom, you know, the, the hook is not being manipulated by the weight. It's all free from each other, which gives the bait a lot more action than you would have if you had a Texas rig with a pegged weight to the bait. So it's, it's a cross or a hybrid between a lot of different techniques. And that's what makes it so cool. You know, I've been doing this for roughly a year and I've had a lot of really good success in several different situations. So, you know, the first thing I want to mention is the bait. You know, like I said, you can really mount any sort of plastic onto this that you want. If you want to put a soft stick bait on, you can do that. If you want to put a big creature, a craw, a worm, you can make almost anything work. For me, you know, some of the, my favorites, I love, I love a beaver style bait. This is the Maxent Creature Craw. Uh, the Pit Boss is one that I've had good success with. And another one is a tube. You know, this is the new Maxent uh, Berkeley tube that's come out, but a tube has been really, really good for me on this. Uh, it's also really good on the Great Lakes. If you're talking about fishing around gobies, I like to use a goby style bait. This is a poor boy Erie darter. You really can put whatever your favorite plastic is on it. I like to keep more of a compact bait versus having something bigger like a big worm or big creature bait, but you can go ahead and try that. It, you know, it all works. It really comes down to where you're using it. And if you feel like a creature bait is the best thing to use, then go for it. So where have I had success with this? Well, the first thing I'm gonna point out is because it's a good weedless bait and it's streamlined, I've done really well fishing brush piles, you know, deeper brush piles with it. You can get these in all different weights. This is a 3 8 ounce. And, you know, when you put a small plastic on there, a 3 8 ounce, you can fish really pretty deep. But what I like about it is for, for brush pile fishing, you know, if I put a plastic on here, like this creature craw, you know, you just rig it like you would any other Texas style bait. Let me get this in there. All right. So in this case, for fishing brush piles, you cast it out into the brush pile it's very streamlined, so it falls through the brush pile really well because the weight leads the way. And then because it's weedless, you can really work this bait really nicely through the brush pile. It's, it worked really well for me down on Eufaula uh, and some other fishing cribs up here in the Wisconsin area. I've had really good success with that. I also have done really well fishing big sand gravel flats that are bare bottom. You know, you cast it out and you pretty much can reel it straight in you know, on a tight line and you've got your bait that's kept off the bottom, your weight's keeping it off. So the baits kind of do like a swimming motion, kind of like a goby would do, you know, something tight to the bottom, kind of like a crawfish would do. And what I really like about it is when a fish comes to bite this, because it's not connected to the weight, there's more play in the bait. So when the fish sucks it in, that bait can move freely into the fish's mouth before it has to pull the weight in. So you know, most of the time the fish is going to come down to about the bait and suck it in. Well, when that happens, they're going to be able to at least get a portion of the bait in before having to pull the weight in as well. Whereas if you had a Texas rig plastic that had a pegged weight, in order to suck the bait in, the fish has to suck the weight in from the beginning as well. So that play here allows the fish the opportunity to really get that bait in well. 
So I find that if you're using it as a casting bait, say on gravel flats or sand flats, you know, and you're use, you're reeling it almost straight in with that, you know, stop and go here and there, but it's almost like you would a swing ahead jig. You get really good hookups because the fish are coming down and they're able to pull the bait in before having to suck the weight in as well. So that's one of the key characteristics that I really, really like about this bait. Another place I've seen it shine really well is when I'm bed fishing. You know, sometimes when you're bed fishing, you'll have a fish that only wants the bait on the bottom. Sometimes you'll want a fish that only wants the bait suspended off the bottom. And this is kind of that happy medium. You know, you, you can keep the bait tight or keep the line tight, keeping the bait out of the bottom of the bed and off the bottom. And you'll get some of those fish it, that only want the bait suspended, you'll get them to bite it, but at the same time, you can keep the bait on the bottom. So if it's a fish that only wants it on the bottom, you can target that fish as well. So it's kind of that happy medium that works really well on bed fish. So that's another thing that I like about it. Um, you know, it's a great, it's just a great like all around bait. I have had good success flipping and pitching it into laydowns, into holes in the grass. Because it's Texas rigged, it's weedless, and like I said before, when fishing brush piles, you get that streamlined fall because that weight draws it right down in the hole. So I got to say, guys, I'm I'm impressed with it. You know, when I first saw it, I didn't like how spread out the weight was from the bait, and I kind of was questioning it. But there's a reason it's very popular over in Japan, and that has to do with the fact that it works. They're catching a lot of fish doing it, and you know, it's an, it's, a, you, it's an easy rig to put on whatever favorite plastic you have. So it just allows you to present that same favorite plastic bait in a different manner. And it's something that the fish haven't seen. So one thing I do want to point out with this is, you know, you can build these on your own re relatively easily. You know, all it is, like I said before, you know, it's pretty much an, whatever the hook you choose to use, an EWG would be my choice as well. And that's what most of these come with. But it's the EWG, and then it's a split ring, and then off of it, you've got the weight. You know, you can buy the uh, cylinder-shaped drop shot weights and spread out the the uh, line, the whatever the line tie would be on the on the weight, spread it out to make it just a circle, and then you can thread that onto a split ring, just like you would thread the hook onto a split, split ring, and there you've created your own rig. I personally like a little bit longer weight to keep it a little further off the bottom, you know, than using, say, just the typical round ball drop shot weight. You could do that as well, but at that point, in my opinion, you're creating a swing head jig, and that's not what this is. You want to keep that bait off the bottom a little bit more and I think you'll see that that will produce some extra bites for you. So guys, if you haven't used the Zika rig yet, make yourself one or go to your local tackle shop. Uh, you know, check out the realshot.com description. I don't even know if they carry the actual Zika rig, but I'm sure you can buy the components there to make yourself some if you haven't used them already. Definitely worth a try in my opinion. It's a, a relatively new technique to our country, but it's been working overseas for quite some time so check it out guys if you enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and share it on your social media pages stay tuned we got new tips and tricks that come out every day